with the strings louder what's up guys ice cream here back with another video before we get into the glitch a like on the video is always appreciated and if you're new go ahead and subscribe now what we are doing in this video is bringing cars from the creator to online and to do that I created a race out here in the Grand Sonora Desert by this LSC and I have the vehicle type set to sedans and the time of day to night because I'm going to show you how to get the Romero hearse and what you're going to do is press test and then immediately hit your dashboard click on something to suspend the application I use media player and then go ahead and quickly close out of media player and go back to GTA and let her go ahead and spawn in there and then you're gonna press down on the d-pad exit test and then you can go ahead and go to wherever you're gonna look for the car so I'm looking for the hearse we're gonna go over by this graveyard and you're gonna need a recently played activity in your profile by the way now from here if you are not in first or third person go ahead and hit your interaction menu to take you to those one of those views and then go ahead and hit down on your d-pad and press and hold X on the exit so that way it looks like that and press pause from there go on up to your profile and go down to recent activities and my game of golf is down here a little ways now right there go to start mini game and it shouldn't bring up anything yet and from there hit your dashboard again and it should load up some players below you that are playing your friends you're just going to want to find one that's playing GTA Online and join session. And now you see it's loading. Hit X and circle on the quit. Hit X on the first alert, circle on the second alert. And then you're in glitched creator now. So now we look for this hearse. I looked around a while earlier during the daytime and I couldn't get one to spawn anywhere but eventually it came to night and one spawned that's why I set the race tonight cuz hopefully we could get one real quick and in a hurry this time so there wasn't one there if there ain't one there the first time if you're looking for one you can go down by Franklin's house there's another funeral home or church down there and the morgue is also down there you can look in those two spots in town but I just like going a little bit of a distance away and then I go back to this one so we'll see come on hearse and Oh, one spawned already. So now we're going to grab that fucking bad boy. These things are harder than shit to get in online if you don't know anybody that has one. And from there, you do not have to set your race out in the Grand Sonora Desert. There's all kinds of vehicles out there that spawn that are rare and kind of fun to play with like the tow truck spawns out there and just more options mainly a few of the cars that spawn here in town would be like the hearse and there's one spot you can find the hearse out in like I think Polito Bay but I ain't driving all the way out there and otherwise yeah all the rest of the spots I think are here in town for the hearse you could also get the dubs to two for that you wouldn't want to set it on sedans as your race type you'd want it on like SUVs or maybe off-road those would be more liable to spawn one 
and yeah, basically, you get into this glitch creator, all these cars are from story mode. So, that's why you're able to get the hearse on here, but not online, is because it spawns in story mode. But yeah, you can just drive around. There's rare paint jobs that don't show up in LSC. You can get, like, some of the DLC cars with faded paint. Those are pretty rare. People like collecting those. This is mainly for collecting cars. This ain't really a money glitch besides the dubs to two. And uh, you can find the sand, the modded Sand King on here. And then once you have those, you can go play a mission that's set at a set time at like 12 o'clock. And they spawn all the time. Then you can save a whole bunch. But they're only worth about 20000 a piece, though. But this ain't really no money method. This is basically to get unobtainable cars and online so I wouldn't be looking forward to finding any money in this I did find a sweet ass fucking modded car sitting at LSC I tried bringing it back but it wouldn't let me keep it but it was just a street car it was all modded up and shit like that it was pretty pimping cruising down the highway Which way do I go? I was firing all the way to there. Right when I'm about there, I had to look at the map. Now, if you're using a race somewhere else other than out here in the desert, you're just going to take whatever car you wanted and take it back to the area where your race is. And that way it spawns. But seeing as how my race is out here, I had to come out here. So you don't have to do it out here. It's, it's just there's more fun modded cars out here than in town. Alright, once you get it out here, I'm going to park it out in front of this door at LSC. And then go ahead and hit your pause menu, go over to the online tab, and join GTA Online. Now when we spawn in, the hearse should be sitting right where I left it. And you can no longer, yeah, bring the money cars or anything like that, don't let you put trackers on them or nothing like that anymore, so... These are storable cars, like the hearse, you could you, you could get it in online, it's just very, very, very hard to find unless you have know somebody that has one. And same with the dubs to two. Those are pretty hard to find unless you have one. And what's the verdict, Judge? I see it already. Boom! I wanted this for this character too. I have one on my other character, but not this one. And I can just drive it right on in here. And put a tracker and insurance on it. I don't know why I just went clear past that. I'm used to more options. Yeah, I guess replace that piecer. But that's it for this one, guys. You can use this to get the dubs to two, just rare cars, un unobtainable cars. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope all you guys have a good day, man. Peace.